Um, but you've got to be led by the spirit in every situation because each person is different. Therefore, you wouldn't do something by formula and you try and find common ground. You know, always try and find common ground when you talk to people. So you're sharing and communicating and discussing, not lecturing. You know, and so you can use questions, open questions to get them and ask them, well, what do you think a relationship God is, is based on? What do you think? You know, and then, you know, what do you think about going to heaven? And they'll think, well, you, know, you, you only go to heaven if you die, blah, blah, blah. And you say, well, no, actually, people are going to heaven every day and experiencing God's presence and God's love. And it's revealing the whole different perspective on who God is, you know. Yeah, and there's all that if they're if they're in any way interested in the supernatural, then engage them with their angels. Talk to them about the angels that God's given them to look after them, and protect them and keep them safe. You know, um, and there's all sorts of different ways, but don't rush. Be reflective and let the spirit lead you into how you're going to discuss things with each person. And then. Always leave someone wanting more. Don't ram everything down their throats in the first 10 minutes because they'll feel overwhelmed. So take your time, you know, and actually say, hey, you know, if you want to chat about this again sometime, I'm very open to, you know, always make it available open um, and don't feel you've got to, you know, close the deal. This is a journey for them help them and walk with them on their journey for a while, you know, you know, and you can present it that way, you know, rather than, Hey, there's this one way to engage God. So look, everyone engages God differently. You know, we're all on a journey to discover really the truth. If I can help you on your journey, I'm very happy to that type of openness rather than I'm here to tell you what the truth is and try and change your mind. You know, so agreeing with them, particularly when it comes to religion and religiosity and all that stuff, when they probably think, well, you're Christian, you're going to believe in this and this and this. Then you ask them what they think. Say, oh, yeah, I totally agree with you. You know, you know, I wouldn't want to know a God like that either. But he didn't like that, you know. And so you can sort of unpack what they think God is like. And then help them to see he's not like that and then help them to experience he's not like that. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.